Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to identify badger tracks. These are quite distinctive prints and fairly easy to identify once you get your eye in. So firstly have a look at the overall shape. The badger tracks have quite a blocky look to them. So this is a live track in the sand. This is a cast of a print that was made in mud. It's kind of a bit clearer on some of the features. The tracks are about five centimetres long in a female and about six in a mature male. These ones are about five, so more likely to be a female. Remember, we don't include the claws in these measurements. In young badgers, the prints are noticeably wider than they are long. And looking at the palm pad, we can see this quite distinct kidney shape to it. And looking in closer detail, you can sometimes see lobes on the edges of the pad. You can see them just here. Although this isn't always obvious and it only applies to adults. Now for the toes. Like other mustelids, that is members of the weasel family, badgers have five toes on each foot. But as with other mustelids as well, it's often the case that toe number one, which is the thumb toe, doesn't clearly register at all and often you can't really see it that clearly. So the thumb toe just being here or on this cast, you can see it at this mark just here. The toes themselves are shaped a bit like tic tacs and are arranged in a shallow arc like the edge of the palm pad. And it's a good idea to develop a search image for this particular shallow arc because with practice it can help you spot fairly faint badger tracks. We see the same arc in the negative space, this area behind the toes. Badgers have really long claws which isn't surprising for an animal that digs so much and they're longest on the front feet. And here we can see they're about a centimetre or more ahead of the toes. Again, we can see the shallow arc. And with a bit of practice, you'll see mid-spotting the claw mark and quite hard surfaces like forest roads when no other sign of the track is visible. A way to tell left from right is to look for the, the thumb toe, toe number one. So here or here. As I said, it's often fainter and positioned lower down than the rest of the toes. To tell the front and back feet apart, just look at the length of the claws, and they're much longer on the front feet. On the back foot, you'd expect them to be land the claws to be somewhere about here. So those are a few tips on identifying badger tracks. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff, and happy tracking.